Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So let's continue playing as the Chichen Itza, where we will finally go to war with the god dang Nueva Atslan peoples. Um, yeah, so obviously we've got seven days for focus, and we have our entire army situated on the border between me and them, and they look pretty, sometimes in some locations fairly equal up close to Mexico City, we're pretty even. Um, over here we are, I would say, relatively uneven, especially with... 23 divisions in a single tile but like I said in the last episode all they have is infantry battalions for their infantry but their spec ops those actually look pretty darn good they even have anti-tank on them so over here is a little weak especially over on our right side other than that we could probably push down and my main goal if we go to war with the coffee people is to cut them off first destroy them set up another front close to Ox Aka Oxaka, and then push that way <clears throat> while trying to drain the enemy of the resources. Right now, do we have anything even resembling a glider or a plane? That's a big N-O. Do I have any materials from that? No. Do I want to make some materials? Yes. We are currently out of support equipment again, but we're making 6.66 a day, which does not sound good, but whatever. And yeah, we are doing the best we can. So, the final frontier for hundreds of years, the pesky Atslan hordes to the west have plagued our borders. Through our num numerous clashes and infrequent wars, many lives have been lost on both sides of the border, and many settlements have been wiped out or wiped from the map by marauding armies. No more. The time has come to end the Atslan threat once and for all through diplomacy or destruction. Well, only through destruction. Never more must our conflicts with the Atslan threaten our peace, else we shall not be able to expand north and east two lands anew. They must be crushed. So we'll go to destruction, 30 days. War with Atslan was never a question to some of those among us. We've always been at war with Atslan. We are bitter enemies, forever doomed to bully one another into inaction. Regardless of how lukewarm the conflict has become, we must bring the full might of our new Itzen Empire down upon the Atslan. War on the border is inevitable, though it seems certain no one will pro protest. Ah, oh, I love water. Also, have some coffee here too. So as you can tell, we actually need more water. If I could give him my, you know, little uh, jug of water, I'd give it, you know, to the Chichen Itza because they need some more water right now. Anyways, we're building up some forts down here because, well, we could really use them around here. Uh, over here, you have two forts. Um, I'm gonna build up an actual. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna go need some fortresses around there. Actually, I put outposts, not forts. These are bunkers. Broken Coast, we're on the Hyde Confederation. But yeah, with both the Tzotzel as well as Guerreros de Honduras, we should do relatively okay. Because Tzotzel has 18 divisions, not a lot, but that still helps us. And the Guerrillas have 20. So they literally have all their divisions over here. The Nueva Aztlan has almost no ships compared to us. Quite a few divisions, a lot of manpower. And their Puppet has a lot of manpower and a lot of divisions. So this war is going to be very... I would say not super easy for us, but it shouldn't be too one-sided. Cool. Ceasefire on the border. No one cares. Destruction. Can I do this? No, cannot. So come on, guys. Get out here. I know, I know. I need more support equipment. Uh, actually, oh, crap. The reinforcements. Put this on high, too. I want these. I need extra divisions out right now. Uh, for now, reinforcements. Put that at low. Because I need to make sure that these divisions come out before we go to war with the... Atslan. Nova Atslan. Yeah. These guys. So we need 61. Just pop them out as soon as you can. Because, good lord, I need them. Especially right here. One division versus 26. Might not win. Even if we have two outposts and a bunker. That still might not be enough. But we do have military engineering. So we get even more entrenchment and more defense. Which will come in very, very handy. Next we have the Legion. The Roman Legion was the pinnacle of military tactics in the ancient era. Less organization loss from moving, less combat width, which is interesting, and a breakthrough for the attacker tactic. Also, someone was saying, basically, we are the Neo-Mayans. We have the Neo-Romans in Kaiser's Legion, and what we even have the Neo-Japanese, if you think about it, with the Yakuza territories, which took out um, Pale Folk. So this is a Neo-Japanese, technically. So that's actually really cool that we have um, the Neo-Japanese, even though it's more of a generic focus tree, I guess. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's not. Well, it kind of is. But, uh, yeah. So we do have elements of n previous civilizations. The Troll War is kind of large. So we have destruction. So, <laughs> before we go to war, 
it's a good idea to see if there's a chance, a small, small chance, if we can go to, um, oh, I have to be at war with Nueva Atzalan, in which Costa Cafenada gets the event, it's a demands we pick side, so if I can get their puppet on our side, that would be great. But it doesn't look like that for right now, so we can do no choice in the matter eventually. Oh, has not completed focus destruction. Huh, we should have seen it coming. This completing this focus will give us access to the war with the Atsalan subtree. Did I miss something? Um, I, I think that's it, right? That's the subtree. Settlement growth, power to the people, first four year plan, infrastructure. I don't want to go to war with them. I want to go with them soon. Go to war soon. Not quite yet, though. I want to make sure that we have enough supply output. Uh, for this, over here, more recon could actually help and more division recovery rate, especially if we get beaten back a little bit. Uh, support these guys, more dockyards, mass conscription, that's okay. I can edit some of the divisions, rough training. All spec ops gain more. Oh. Hmm. Retention and cap. That's not bad. But for this, I can get more spec ops attack defense and so movement speed inside rough terrain like jungles, mountains, marshes, hills. So that's not bad. Um, this is... I like the plus 10% recon. That could be very useful. And division recovery rate. More minimum training time isn't really great for us. I know, I know I want to go to war with Atslan, but... <clears throat> give me just a moment. Here, part of the people. Next plan. <clears throat> well, let's do this one first. I get more manpower, and I do want to go to Civilize. Uh, I don't really know which one I want to do. Well, let's go to the military stuff, because we'll be doing the military stuff soon enough. So, let's get some more recon. 30 days, and then we'll go to war, if we have our divisions out. Because right now, three support equipment is needed, and that's it. Cool. Do that, come back down. Because some of our divisions actually need more support equipment right now. So, that'll be important to do. Actually, if needed, right now, we could call an audible. Now, what I'm saying is maybe instead I should create this to 20 with, because we have enough divisions. We just need more. We got a lot of guns already. So if I increase this to 20 with now, that might actually help us. Let's see, fire teams. Uh, we got a lot of explosive equipment. More demo. That would hurt our organization by five. Um, a little more supply use, more weight. But it gives us a lot more soft attack, a lot more defense, a lot more breakthrough. Give me those demo boys. Um, oh, actually, maybe I shouldn't because I don't only have so much army XP. And that really cuts into my plans here. You'd be a waste to do that. Anything else? Fire teams? I wanted to add them on anyways soon enough. Soft attack, more heart attack, more breakthrough, more defense. You lose just a little bit of organization, lose a little bit of recovery rate, reliability. And you get a little bit, tiny bit more piercing. If I do that, then I have room enough to do anti-tank or logistics, not both. Hmm. And considering my supplies, do we have enough? So that takes about 15 fire teams. Hmm. And that's all it will increase. It gives you more defense. Attacking kind of sucks a little bit more for fire teams. For now, we can put them on. We might not take them, keep them on forever. So let's do that for now. Yeah, it lowers our capacity a little bit. And we did run out of fire team stuff. But I'd rather have that than not have that, I guess, at the, at the moment. So, yeah. And we're doing an elite force anyways. Ooh, can we actually get 20 more political power? Yes, we can from Mexico City. Thank you very much. 28 divisions. That's a lot of divisions. Oh, you guys are training? Yeah. After this, I, I definitely need these divisions out. When are you going to be done? When's the last one going to be done? Um, They'll be done on July 20th, so in about a month. So it gives us about maybe an, one more focus we can do before we go to war. More recon, that'll be good. Acclimatization factors. Mm, I love water so much. We're doing better on uh, fire teams. Actually, we're doing be much better on support equipment. Fire teams could use a little bit more support to um, do that for now. Ooh, nice, a little bit more political power, even though we don't really need that. Uh, we, I'm going to go to war economy when we can. Azurecito supporter, support the Azurecito. No, we cannot do that. 
We're pretty much done with everything here. I mean, there's really not much we can do. I suppose we can scavenge for more equipment for now, for 100 days, more less defense. Well, we'll be in war in a within 100 days, so I won't want to do that. Ret retention cap and cap efficiency. Hmm. Loyalty through love. No, thank you. There's stuff up the top I can do. Growth. Less political power, less stability, more research speed, and become civilized. You know what? Let's do that. Encourage settlement growth. The transition from agrarianism to industrialism is a rough and sudden one. and presents a radical change in lifestyle that our people may not be eager to undertake easily. If we are to continue the growth of our industrial centers, we must be or must incentivize the working and fighting population co-migrate inwards to more densely populated areas of the nation. Let's do that. And then we'll get become civilized, and then we can unlock... Oh. Uh-oh. More tech that could help us win the war against Nueva Aztlan. And it looks like... Oh yeah, the NCR is at war with the Western Brotherhood. Ooh, it's kind of like turning out into our like our, from our last game, actually, as well. Uh, but for right now, you guys... Yeah, this is, this front line is not going to probably be able to hold very well at all. Uh, the center line should be relatively okay unless these guys attack like crazy, which they might. And I don't like that. But, I definitely need more divisions on this line here. So you guys are over here. You do that. Bolster those defenses. Actually... Yeah, you come down here. I need you, like, on this spot. Hmm, how are these? Oh, we got the bunkers done. That's nice. Um... Outpost is going up here. That's good. Maybe add in one level outpost for all these guys. Yeah, keep doing that. That'll be good. Kaiser... Oh! Kaiser declared war on the NCR. As NCR is trying to take out the Western Brotherhood. Oh my goodness. Oh, there goes Mojave chapter. Oh, they're almost out of manpower. The NCR has quite a bit. Kaiser has not as much as I would expect. Oh, and, the Kais and Kaiser is moving in. Probably caught him off guard a little bit, but no, uh, but these guys are pushing in this way. That's interesting. Alright, come on, poop these guys out. Oh, no. Yeah, go back to do this, god dang it. So, we need some more support equipment and fire team equipment. Fire team, god dang it. I need these divisions, no matter what happens. So, if I have to do this, I have to do this. Flamers, put you down there. There you go. And Pioneer Kits, yeah, definitely put that there. Encourage settlement growth. If we, we might as well do this now. In a relatively short t amount of time, we have made strides in both our commerce and industry. A considerable uptick in commerce and production has allowed us to further our cap capabilities as a nation, as well as our quality of life. Though it may cause a considerable stir amidst the conservative portions of our population and government, we must commit to being a, subtle, a settled, civilized nation. Nice. So you guys are over here. I'm actually going to throw you... Um, I'd really need that division right here. Yeah. Yeah, definitely do that. And we have this. This will last forever. Alright, let's make sure our Navy's doing okay. We got two extra ships, two extra battle cruisers. Wow. I have too many battle cruisers compared to whatever I have right now. Um, just kind of leave them there then. Okay. Uh, repair now. Dedicated equipment. Uh, what is one thing that we could do real quick to help ourselves out? Train mongrels. Nothing here. Infantry. Pl special platoons. What else we got? Industry. Engineering. No. No. Okay, then. We don't got much. But I guess I will throw on a naval catapult on one of my ships, maybe? I'll do specialized doctrine instead. Let's go with... Special Forces, Hot and Cold, Acclimization Factor, Organization. Let's just, just get some more Organization for now. And we got some military training done. Nice. Which will get some more defense, which will be very, very important. Oh, God. We have Day Ka'an. Which shouldn't hurt us at all, since we have a good, abundant prediction for next year. Oh, we actually have a few more divisions. Thank God. Oh, okay. Maybe one more division. Um, throw you over here. These guys are connected, I think. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, you're going over there. I thought I told you to go somewhere else, but all right. 
All right, well, let's see what happens. We got plenty of political power. And we should be good enough, right? Unless, oh, this division just popped out. Nice. Go ahead and settle on the line. Oh, yep, that's a good place. That's a good place to be. It looks like they've lowered their division account down in this tile. I'm just worried about this tile. Because these guys up north should be able to hold no problem. These guys over here m should be able to hold no matter what happens. They should be able to. Uh, let's do 131 days. Eh, we must well do that. All right. Is that division ready and settled? Not yet. When that division settles, we will be ready. I don't know. I'm prolonging the war as long as I can. Actually, our ships, are they... Some of them are healing. Some of them are. Come on, make it down there. We don't have t all day for you. But we do have another time for this other division. Cool. All right, we might as well do it. So go ahead and switch to this. Switch to this. And three, two, uno. Calling all allies. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of red. That is a lot of red, my friends. But anyways, let's see. Oh, we want to navally invade them, right? So we want naval invasion support down here. Um, I don't think I need naval invasion support down there, so that should be okay. So do that for now. Let's see what happens, because they m probably are going to break through this one division here, since it's only a single division. But some of these red has turned green, which is nice. Place, place pressure on Costa Cafanida, Cafanada. So we can't do that. One last fight, and then we get pick up the debris, which would be nice. So if we lose a few tiles here or there, you know, what happens, happens. Um, send one division this way. Looks like they could use that. Mm, to help them out, do that. Over here. What's the fight like? They, let's see, we can pierce them somehow. They must have a spec ops division with very low armor. Alright, how about down here? What's going on down here? I don't have a ton of divisions, but neither do they. Uh, oh yeah, calling our allies. Definitely calling our allies. Alright, Spec Ops. There's a reason why I s separated you guys off. I'm going to give them extra attack when they as they go. So, Alright, go ahead, my boys. We gotta cut the guys off. Nice, we're civilized now. We are civilized, folks. Great. Oh, look at that stability. Jesus Christ. One last fight. Yeah, we could use a little bit more stability. The time for pointless delay and excessive bureaucracy has been long past. It is doubtful that there could be any matter in the world as pressing as a war between us and the Aztlan. Though bone may break and flesh may bruise, the spirit of Itza burns within the hearts of the people. If we were to end this conflict which has wounded so many, we must act and act now. Look at all that extra manpower we find somehow. Um. Oh, they're attacking with a lot of guys now over here. That's not good. That's actually really, really not good. So, oh wait, they actually, oh crap, I didn't even notice this. Would it be possible for you guys to help push these guys out? I could really not want to deal with that. Uh, how is the naval invasion support going? How's the naval invasion going? Uh, actually, you guys, you should push anyways. You three, hold on. My goal, if I have to lose territory in the north, I'm kind of okay with that. You guys are attacking this way? That'll be fine. So, ooh. Oh, we're attacking right here as well, which is good. Uh, let you guys move in this way too. Ooh, great. Ooh, they want to give us some makeshift squad automatic weaponry. Nice. So, what's going on? We d we're defeated here. The day of cut on. So there's seeds. Harvest is looking good. We can't push these guys out of here, which really is extremely disappointing. Which means I have to cover this territory too. And actually, do you not have a general? You could probably use a general to get a little bit more attack. That'll be good. Uh, losses so far, definitely kind of even. Come on, push them in. I want to cut these guys off. Good, good, good. Even though you guys have like no supplies. Well, yeah, no supplies. That in itself is not necessarily good. But if I have to sacrifice the north for the south, oh my goodness, that is not good. So be it. Go ahead and hold. Really, the north is just all about delaying everyone around here. That's all it is. So that in the south, we can act with a little bit more vigor. Uh, keep one division here. Come on. Come on. If I have to, you have to push harder than that. Good. Keep one division there. 
build up a naval port right there. That'll be good. How, how did we not take in this tile yet? Good, thank God. All right. You guys are over there. Nice. Yeah, definitely we'll have to spend this, send the spec ops up north. If I have to retreat right here, that's totally fine with me. Um, you guys hang tight. Oh, shit. What what, what you doing? Um, I don't know if I would rec really recommend that. Come over here. And you have to retreat, just retreat. That'd be fine. Oh, they actually pushed us back through here. That's fine. We suffered quite a few losses, but you know what? That's what all this southern Mexican kind of civil war type of stuff is all about. You three? Well, we minus one. Come this direction. I want you to attack this way. We have to do an encirclement down here. Oh, baby. They are really stacking up their soldiers. Is there a tile we can maybe get over here? Yeah, no, you're not going to be able to do that. Yeah, this is... Re Holy crap, what, what's going on? Like, forest attack, 80%? Well, you know what? We have to combine our attacks a little bit better than this. Hmm... Looks like they're winning down here. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Go ahead and strike them down here. You guys are doing okay up north a little bit. You guys are fairly weakened over here. If I attack, that would just serve as a distraction for now. Come down here, take that tile. So we can still destroy a few divisions down here and then move up north. And I'm probably, I'm going to have to get tur turn my spec ops north. Because this is a little ridiculous. What? How? Like, like six divisions obviously isn't enough per tile. Like, hmm. Maybe I needed more divisions. But I'll drain them of the resources in due time. So one last fight. More stability, more war support. Very good. Let's see. Power to the people. Ah, let's have a four-year plan. And actually, uh, there's no description for that, so I can't really say what it would say. How do they get up there? Guys, please stop killing yourselves. Yeah, do that. That'd be better. Yeah, stop attacking. Just don't attack when you don't need to attack. All right. All of you just stop doing that. Stop moving around like that. Wait, we got encircled? What? No, 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 no. We're, we have to push these guys back out. Yeah, no. Bring in those guys. I don't care about the organization. You cannot allow that to happen. Oh, but you are over here. Huh. Nice to meet half of you guys. You come down here. Alright, so you guys hold. And we will continue to push this direction. So that's only a few divisions, which is fine. Um, do we do we take the... Oh, we got the port. Good, we got the port. They still have La Plantacion, but whatever. These divisions will still have to die. Good, good, good. Let them die, and then I'm going to have to retreat my spec ops to the north, because the north is just kind of falling apart at this point. Hmm. Really, maybe should have started this war a little bit later. I knew something like this would have happened. Oh, well. Let's see. Do that. Yeah, stop attacking. Stop wasting manpower and equipment. The Legion. Nice. We get more division uh, organization, or less loss of that. We are civilized now, so what I'm going to do is make sure that we upgrade what we can currently upgrade. So let's go ahead and do sustained pressure first. Let's do that. Are these guys dead yet? I really need them dead, guys. Come on. Oh, I pause it. No wonder they're not going. Good. Yep, you can't move. No, no, no. That's a big no-no. Yeah, the north is kind of crumbling. Um, I can retreat further and further south. I will have to move these divisions on our left here, though. This will be a problem. Ooh, do we have... Ooh, infantry expert. Yes, please. I will use infantry experts. Ooh. You got a little bit more defense. For now, I'll have you become an ambusher. And you will become an ambusher for as well for now. So defense is much, much better. We actually saved those divisions, which is great. Uh, this is annoying to do this. But whatever. Whatever. 
Oh, wow. Actually, the Costa Cafenado people have actually lost quite a few more guys than us. Which is kind of good. Kind of good. Um, in an attempt to surround and encircle more soldiers, I need you guys to come up here. As fast as possible. Um, guys, you don't need to do that, please. Thank you very much. You guys... Some of you guys are up here. Hold on, let me see. Where Where is everyone at? You're right here, so you three will do that. I want the other divisions, uh, you three, also right here. Come right here and do that when needed. And then the rest of you guard this bottom area. Good. Do that. Alright. Over here, they are definitely attacking us like crazy. Not good for us. Actually, now what combat width do we have? Nine. Interesting. So we might be able to throw in one more battalion in there before we're really done. This is very not good. Yeah, how many divisions are attacking me? Ten? Holy crap. Uh, please. Why are you attacking? Why are you attacking? Why are you running? My goodness. Oh, they're actually using ghouls. Oh, we don't have ghouls. It's kind of strange. Why don't we have ghouls? Alright, so you guys definitely need to move up a little bit more from where you're at. Actually, if you could, you might be able to come up there and do that. Alright, so our spec ops are moving around. I've got to make sure we don't forget about our navy. Actually, you know what? What am I doing? I can control my uh, allies. Uh, let's do this. Convoy raiding. Um, can I get over here? New, no. new, no, new, no, new. No. Come over here and then do that. So we have like six of these, so that'll be fine. Uh, right now, so it's still. I'm going to need to borrow you. Give me like 12 divisions. And I'll supplement my armies with your divisions. So, there you go. Thank you very much. New commander, Gabriel Canalizo. Canalizo. Uh, definitely put you over here. Where are you currently? You guys are trying to attack? Yeah, don't you dare try to attack. That's a little suicidal, and I don't think you need that. And Honduras. I'll do the exact same thing with you. Guard, help me guard up north. Another commander, thank you. Put you under a different field marshal, which we will need another commander. Under Emilio Guerra. Are you related to Commandant Luis or something? Just give me more entrenchment with this guy. And you will be placed over here. This area and that area are the most important. But this might be important to do as well. I don't want them to come into my lands too much. You guys are doing fine. Very nice, very nice. Spec Ops have kind of arrived around here. Hmm. I might be able to bust through here if I really try. 79. I, I still have coffee here. I haven't even drank it yet. Hmm. Good stuff. They keep throwing more divisions in here, but I don't, don't think it's going to hold for too long. So, uh, it's not bad. Not bad. I mean, yeah, we've taken quite a few losses, but not nearly as bad as the enemies, which is nice. Yeah, I need my puppets divisions to get up there. Implement the first four-year plan. A wonderful idea has been put to Tehun. The possibility of directing the entire economy to achieve a single pre-planned goal. There are four distinct targets we could aim for this plan. Increasing construction, exploring more resources, enhancing production, or expanding research. Whatever we choose, we must direct the economy at achieving it within the four allocated years, no matter what the cost. We can then choose a different specialization, or continue with our current one at a more advanced level. Construction, output... Um, resource efficiency gain and infrastructure speed. Research. That's interesting. You get a debuff to research speed, but you get a bonus to industrial research speed. I'm going to say focus on... Right now. We're pretty good on stuff. I mean, yeah, we need to build a lot more fire teams, but other than that... I'm going to say focus on construction, because we can still build up more military factories and stuff like that. So do that for now. We have another focus, though. We can do infrastructure. Yeah. And casting off our yoke of isolationism, we have tested the nation's infrastructure and found it lacking. If we wish to pr prove ourselves as a valuable trade partner, we must first ensure a reliable flow of goods and materials between our major industrial centers. An expansion of our existing roads and the construction of new ones is in order. So right now, I would say that this war has gone very weirdly for us. I wasn't expecting such extreme aggressiveness from them, but then again, this is Nueva Atalan, so 
And I did forget about using my puppet's division, so yeah. Actually, this is a great opportunity to, opportunity to create a tiny, tiny encirclement. Good. Oh, god dang it. What happened? How did they, how did you lose that? Come on, man. Come on. You guys are based around there, and then you guys are based... No, you guys are already up there. You guys come down here. You guard over here, maybe. Alright. Uh, how much manpower does this group have? Quite a bit. Ah, uh, very nice. Very nice. Slowly but surely, we will win this war. How is this going? I still have my spec ups trying to fight down here. Um, they put a lot of divisions down here, which is really unfortunate. Maybe break out this way. Just try to expand no matter what happens. Um, they are definitely trying to attack us here. Put you on the line. Not sure why you're just kind of sitting there, but okay. For my god, how many divisions are attacking me? They only have eight divisions. They're not that strong. They're like probably ten combat width, if anything. Just keep throwing on more divisions. Are they using axes? Ham jackhammers? Sledgehammers? Hey, Binky, how you doing? I'm joined here by my cat named Binky, so. There is always that. Oh, we actually expanded that way. Nice. If that's the case, we will push this way as well. I'm going to do an encirclement somehow, some way, whether they like it or not. Oh, that's a lot of divisions down there. So give me you three minus one. Can you snake your way down here? No, you cannot. Can you break your way over here? Maybe increase the pressure of what's going on over here so we can just cut these guys off because that would be glorious if we could alright so right now I think we have definitely found a much better defensive position it's not great we're still getting attacked in certain key areas that I don't want to lose but war is hell some would say right now demo teams we, we got plenty of demo equipment we got plenty of infantry equipment ooh plot looks boon oh there we go we do not know how much of the great AI that guards the North. His details obscured in tribal mythos and exaggerated stories of omnipotence. But it appears he knows of us. An envoy from the AI entered our territory offering to share the secrets of his advanced circuitry on the condition that we maintain our efforts to confront and contain the ambitious Nuevo Aslan. Naturally, we agreed. We get a four times bonus for robotics and more war support. Well, I could use stability, but war support I will take. And I forgot about doing this. Thank you very much. Nice. Hmm. Very good. That's actually kind of... I forgot about that. And Plock is going to die soon. Uh, the NCR. Holy crap. They're not doing well against Kaisar's Legion. Ooh. The Baja California is almost gone. But I think for the most part, most of our initial struggles are over. We're mostly just attempting to defend and attempting to do that successfully. That's not always a very easy thing to do. Yeah, go ahead and push this way if you can. Push them out as hard and as fast as possible. Uh, actually, I don't mind attacking them now to help stall that one division. Distribu distribution networks, power to the people. Next, I oh, can't do that yet. Oh, I need to own that territory. I can do power to the people, but I don't think I need electricity right now. Um, up next, streamline industrial process. Support the Mia Mordoros. Where do you pronounce that? Oh, let's do that because we can edit that division. So the Mia Mero de Adoros is already a great asset. <clears throat> They are skilled, disciplined, and versatile, being the masters of sea and the land. They have supported us through the power struggle, and their loyalty will be rewarded. Handsomely rewarded. So yeah, actually we're winning this battle. Slightly. <clears throat> but definitely down here we have to win this Ranger Mountain training. Nice warrior training. Industry stuff. Thank God we can move on to become more and more civilized. But first let's go with more construction speed. And then public projects. Love it. Come on, break them down here. Then we can just encircle and destroy so many divisions. Oh my god, we did it. Um, push this way immediately. Push this way immediately. Push this way immediately, and then push this way immediately as well. Do not give them an opportunity to talk back at us, or strike at us. Can we actually win here? That'd be insane if we could. Oh, he's only level 1. That's kind of nice. No, we can't win. That's fine. Just don't kill yourselves. Nice. Not bad. <clears throat> Get more weekly stability in exchange for war support. I'm okay with that. And they're trying to attack us to save these guys, but there's nothing that will save this encircled group of 15 plus 2 is 17. 17 plus 4 is 21 divisions. 20. Crap, I got encircled myself. 21 divisions in themselves. Cool. Yeah, don't let them do this. 
That's a bunch of BS. No, 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 no. Yeah, definitely don't let them do that. But other than that, we are holding pretty well everywhere else. <clears throat> Especially with just using infantry. Ooh, oh, we made a encirclement. A tiny, tiny encirclement. And I will in the episode very soon. I just want to see this encirclement die. Oh, they're panicking. They're panicking. Spec Ops leads the way. And they lead another way in. Followed up with the regulars. Wastelander, uh, Ranger Wasteland Training. Sustain pressure. Cool. Um, go ahead and do... Oh, actually. Help us with our other research. Let's do that. Oh, baby. We got more stuff we can do here. Yes, please. Daddy, yes. Incinerators? Yes, yes, yes. Who needs flamers when you can have incinerators? Oh, my goodness. Nice. Y'all, they, they didn't want to give up yet, but they will soon. They will very, very soon. Uh, they're still trying to attack me everywhere else. Uh, we are... Oh, we might have lost a tile, but that's fine. Ernesto... Oh, adaptable. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds very good. Juan Gomez. I'll do that. I'm out of command power. Never mind. I'll do logistics companies or logistic focus thingy. Come on, guys. You got this. Oh, look at all those dead... Oh, there's only one division left. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, they're dying. Oh, my God. We did it. We killed off so many guys. 14,000 losses compared to our probably 3,000. But that's all the time for we have today, guys. So, what have we done? We started the war against Nueva Atzlan. We initially were taken a little bit aback and struggling with Nueva Atzlan and its ally. But with the use of the Spec Ops and their impressive naval invasion capabilities, we have destroyed thousands and th of men and their divisions. Not thousands of divisions, but thousands of men. And basically, at this point... <clears throat> I think we've turned the tide. So, anyways, I did just see that the Republic of the Rio Grande is losing against Santa Ana. Kaiser's Legion is beating the crap out of NCR, and the world is on fire. Well, with that in mind, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and say hello there on Discord. Then check me out with a link below in the description. And I will see you tomorrow, and I hope you all have a great, great day.